Tommy Rich, I hope the money Bill Barron gave you is worth showing up October 27th at the Globe on Memorial Drive in Atlanta. I hope it is, because you're going to need every dime of it when I get through doing to you what I'm going to do. You see, Tommy, when I think back, I think about the days of me and you running up and down the road at ECW. I think about me and you chasing women around in the balls. I think about me and you going back to the room, getting drunk and just nutty. You know what I'm saying? And I cherish memories like that. But when you get the nerve to let somebody talk you into coming to a building, standing across the ring, looking at me, talking about you want to fight me, then, son, I take that personal. Now, everybody gonna give you your prop. Tommy Rich was once upon a time the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Tommy, gas was 10 cents a gallon then. It don't mean nothing to me. I don't give you nothing, Tommy, but one promise. I'll beat your ass beyond recognition when you come to the globe. Bring them little snotty nose kids of yours. Bring that wife of yours. Bring all them bastards that you got in your family and watch what I do to you. You see, winning and losing this night don't mean nothing to me. I don't care if you pin me, Tommy, one, two, three, don't mean jack to me. What's going to mean something to me is when I take a fork and stick it in your head and split it open to the white meat, then you're going to understand that I'm on a mission. I'm going to hurt you, Tommy. And don't take it personal. But trust me, when you leave the globe that night, if you wake up in Grady or if you don't wake up, remember why it happened. You can blame Bill Barron for this because you was dumb enough to get your ass in the ring with me, and I'm going to be fool enough to take you out. Your ass is mine on the 27th. Count the days, Tommy. <laughs> TNT, Tony Strato and Todd Dexman. Here they go, go straight! The last four of the TNT going at it. Both members of the G rated on the apron. Decided to let the other two tag teams fight it out. G rated making all these threats of uh, doing some sort of high flying moves. And they have jumped, they have done double plunges onto the floor. That's brilliant. No water in the boots. As I dodge my way through that minefield that was the outside ring area, Paul Gabriel goes hard into the guardrail. Water in the pool, I seem to see a couple of puddles around the bodies of G-rated. I don't believe it's water. Of course, we know this intense rivalry between TNT and the Lost Boys. I don't know if G-rated want to get involved in this rivalry. Three-way dance top tag team contendership for sure going to be considered. The winner of this outcome here is certainly going to be considered a top contender to the tag team championship here in Wild Side. Big drop kick, nobody home for Todd Sexton. I mean, suffice to say, the feud between TNT and the Lost Boys has been going on for literally weeks here in Wild Side. No resolution of that feud yet. Maybe here tonight, but you got to throw in the team of G-rated into this new equation. Well, it started off as a friendly acquaintance due to the fact that they had mutual enemies in the Cole Brothers. TNT and the Lost Boys were friends at one point. They were scheduled for contendership matches against one another and once for the Wild Side Tag Team Championships and what they had were called ball raising matches and of course the ball raising rematch at the two-year anniversary classic. The feud has intensified so much since then. The Lost Boys have really just shown this demonic side that we didn't know what well, we knew they had, but didn't know they had to this degree. TNT and the Lost Boys locking it up, and G-rated caught somewhere in the middle. Todd Sexton on the top tour buckle. Kid Ecstasy and Todd Sexton hooking it up this week on NWA Wildside here at the NCW Arena in Cornelia, GA. Leaf block, big chop, double knife edge, down goes Kid Ecstasy. And G-rated is all about the fun, and they're all about the games. But um, as we've seen here, TNT and the Lost Boys, they're not here to play. And G-Rated is going to find that out the hard way tonight. G-Rated are coming in here with no shortage of uh, confidence, surprisingly. I still think they're in this and involved in this mess that they really don't want to get involved in. I know they want to move up in the tag team ranks, but to get involved in the war between TNT and the Lost Boys, it's quite a way of going about it. What a drop kick there to the stone up of Kid Ecstasy, his tag team partner Kid Cool. The collective age of G-Rated can't be over 25. But nevertheless, they're young and squeaky clean. 
and I guess that television show needs that in this this horrid day and age. Yes. And, limit. and both members with there, Todd Sexton up top. Beautifully timed missile drop kick. Cleverly kid ecstasy and Kid Cool meets his tag team partner unceremoniously in the middle of the ring. Death Valley driver on Cool and ecstasy was the target there. Look at the intensity here in the eyes of the Lost Boys. Well, I guess it means Todd Sexton uh, was tagged out or Gabriel was tagged in and I'm not really sure where Thomas's decision here is on this tag here on this exchange. Andrew Thomas is losing control of this match early on, which I know is, is part of his M.O. Oh my goodness! Two forward! Oh my goodness! Kid Ecstasy was 16. Nagisa Teru combination leg drop by the Lost Boys on the outside of the ring. Kid Ecstasy's got to be dead. Or damn close to it. Cool's looking after his fallen partner as the TNT Lost Boys feud continues on unabated this week on Wildside. And of course, it's not official, but uh, from the rumors I've been hearing, it's going to be TNT taking on the Lost Boys at a Fright Night 2001, Saturday night, October the 20th, right here at the NCW Arena in Cornelia, Georgia. Another Nagas Terror who holds him and Kid Cool gets drop kick square in the mush. I believe the team of G-rated now regret the day they signed up to this three-way dance. The Lost Boys in control once again showing that mean streak, that malevolent nature. Kicked to the face by Azrael. Springboard. Comes back with a leg lariat. Kid Cool goes down and goes down hard. Who wouldn't go down? And Todd Sexton in the break off that pin attempt. Big hello to the Wild Side fans watching us every week in Las Vegas on KTUD TV every Saturday night at 9 o'clock. Rainbuster by Azrael. Tag made into Gabriel. These two individuals on a mission. They speak. They're out here and they're in a trance. It, it's so bizarre to see the method that these guys, they live their lives like this. I mean, you walk and walk, but you're walking around in the dressing room, the exact same thing. And a trance, big sandwich. But Kid Cool and Kid Cool is hanging over the top rope like laundry on a close on a clothesline. God Almighty, hold the mail. Okay, then mail's hold. What a strange head sandwich. What a strange thing to say. Oh, I get it. The sandwich. Got it. Got it. They'll be needing the mail clinic at the rate they're going. Looks like Kid X as he's been tagged, but Gabriel doesn't know it. Drop kick to the butt. Sometimes when you're one of the lost boys, you might be more lost than you give me some credit for. A lackadaisical pin from Kid X to up top. But X has has felt, felt an awful lot of punishment as his match progresses. I think it's a hit that's a G-rated. They're still kicking. Douglas pulls on by Gabriel and another. Kick to the midsection. Irish whip rip. He comes, look at this. Oh my goodness, elevated rocker dropper. All right, Kid X is a beautiful maneuver. And he told me to make sure and make it clear to you that the G stands for good looking. I'm not agreeing with it, I'm just relaying a message. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I know we hear about it week after week. Gabriel in a lot of trouble here. G rated. Double flat liner. And nicely executed. The two kids, the two kids, excuse me, certainly have a lot of talent. Oh, tongue tied here this evening. Well, I can understand that with incredible action this week here in Wildcat. A three-way tag team dance. Obviously with the winners moving up in the ranks of the tag team scene. And this tag team scene here at Wildside is in fact a brutal one. That's two plays by Kid Cool still to come in this hour. Blackout was supposed to take on the team. Oh, wait a minute! Third squirrel! Gabriel out of the way! Blackout was supposed to defend the Wildside tag team title against Christian York and Joey Matthews. However, York and Matthews are not here. They're not in the building. I don't know if they're coming. I don't know if they plan to be here. But the blackout, I, I, I've been handed to note that they've got a statement regarding that issue later on in the this hour of this edition of Wildside. Do you know if they're really angry or ticked off about anything? Well, I'm always ticked off about something. But didn't they're ticked off about Matthews and York not being here? Uh, that's a very good possibility. Oh, dear. You know, uh, an angry blackout is a blackout you don't want around, and that's for sure. Big kick. Even when they're happy, I don't want to be around those guys. One of those weasel tag teams ever. Now, as a matter of fact, they are the Wild Side Tag Team Champions. 
Tony Stradlin in the ring, and Kid Ecstasy takes him down with a clothesline. Kid Ecstasy is getting a, a number of loop offensive maneuvers here, and he's taking advantage of him, so, you know, got to give him credit for that. Irish went for a virtual spring forward. He's caught by Stradlin. That super from down goes Tony Stradlin. Beautiful maneuver by Kid Ecstasy. Where did XD get that from? And after landing on his head on that a very uh, large beak of his several times, I'm quite surprised he's got it in him. Ecstasy showing a more serious side to some degree. I believe Kid XD wants to fly. He's on the top. Nobody fooled by that guillotine leg drop. Kid XD lands butt first, right in the middle of the ring. Doesn't have much of a butt, so I hope it didn't hurt that much. Double Irish whip. Off he goes. He's got him up in the air. Oh, double cover off. What a maneuver by TNT. Kid Cool in to break up the pin. And it's Kid Cool all by himself against TNT. Look at this maneuver here. What's this going to be? Oh, my goodness. Perla Spears, Paul Lost Boy. Double super kick by G Ray. G Rated are, in fact, holding their own in this three way tag team dance. But to the surprise of the throngs here at the NCW Arena. Play like Ecstasy going for a suplex in the ring. Kid Cool working over Gabriel in the four corner. Tony Stradlin is up. What's this going to be? Oh, big sweet turn ball. And Tony takes it as in now. Neck breaker variation and beautifully executed. But Gabriel's got a pinfall on Kid Cool as well. Fuck it up. Yeah, Todd and Tony do not want to lose this match without having taken the pinfall themselves, certainly. All three teams now on the floor. Referee Andrew Thomas losing total control of this match. It looks like all three teams are on the verge of being counted out. It's Todd Sexton and Azrael on the right. Tony Stradlin and Gabriel on the rampway. G-rated on the floor trying to shake the cobweb loose. Cool and Ecstasy coming to their feet. Wait a minute. Oh my God. No. Look, G-rated won the three-way dance. That was a valiant effort, but I'm shocked. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match as a result of a count out, G-rated. And I don't think either one of them realized they won the match. Amazing. The wonders never cease. In an hour where we saw Mr. Delicious actually win a match, we have now seen G-rated with their hands raised victorious in a mad three-way tag team with TNT and the Lost Boys. And the celebration continues.